Ceratosaurus was announced for the Isle, Giganotosaurus got its concept art, and of course, Pterodactylus will be the most annoying critter in the Isle of Rima, and a whole bunch more in today's news overview for the Isle. Timestamps are on the screen now, and if you are new, feel free to subscribe, but other than that, let's get right into the video. I'm not going to lie when I say this everyone, Pterodactylus is on track to be the most annoying and frustrating thing to deal with in the Isle of Rima and well, we know that now because it's going to be putting Hipsy players in their place with how annoying their sounds are. This is an AI that is literally built to scavenge and eat food and then call and annoy the hell out of you and anybody who's in the aisle. An AI that is essentially built to spam call is, uh, well, some servers will not be allowing this creature to live just because it breaks every rule that are on some servers. But that being said, this thing will be a pain in the arse. And well, the calls are terrifying. Take a listen to it because it literally sounds like a creature is gargling and coughing and just, just making some weird ass noises that you do not want to be hearing at 3am. Like, it's like one of those challenge videos. I played the aisle with Pterodactylus at 3am and all you hear is just that noise. Take a listen. One additional thing I do want to note regarding Pterodactylus is that we actually got some additional shots to showcase the behaviour of it in the trail camera observation for Ceratosaurus, which of course teased Ceratosaurus. Basically, the AI will scavenge with compies alongside them for corpses and it's something that will actually hang around the corpses when you come to the corpse and scare them away so they won't properly be scared away because they're still going to be trying to eat from the corpse while you're eating from it so you'll have to stop and try and scare it away every now and then kind of like vultures in real life these are like the vultures of the isle of rima which is actually quite scary and annoying so yeah, do be careful because these mobile and flying hoovers will be annoying you with their calls and then they'll be eating your food. So do be a bit scared. Honestly, I do expect that Pterodactylus will be coming in update 5 because it looks very polished, very well done and very fleshed out to the point where I think it's ready to be added. But let's talk about something that I also think is pretty close to being added as well and that is Ceratosaurus. Yesterday, the developers teased a trail camera observation for Ceratosaurus, which I've made a video covering, and you guys can go ahead and watch it. It was like a little reaction video to it, and I definitely recommend it. And while there is quite a bit to unpack with this dinosaur video regarding the Ceratosaurus, so I'm pretty excited to talk about it. Firstly, let's talk about the attacks. A lot of you, and I mean a lot of you, were talking about this in the comments of my reaction video, that the, what I thought was a very long, threatened call is actually a one wind up or charged up attack kind of like how the ceratosaurus in path of titans has a wind up attack this dinosaur will be getting one as well in the aisle obviously i'm just comparing the fact that it's the similar type of attack where you charge it up and hold the bite down to get a bigger bite for bigger damage that's probably what it's going to be and i feel like that'll be a nice and unique attack for ceratosaurus that makes it stand out from everything else in the game and you kind of saw it in motion there because i don't think that's going to be a threatened call we actually did get some listen to the overall sounds of Ceratosaurus as well. I think it was a threatened call and a one call, which I'll have on the screen now and for you guys to listen to. Have a listen. We also got two colorations for Ceratosaurus for the detail of the Ceratosaurus default skin and we also got the female skin. The female skin was the blacker skin. What I thought originally was a melanistic skin but others have pointed out that it is a female skin. But we also have two additional skins. We have a mustardy yellow pattern colour for the detail and we have a more yellowy yellow pattern colour for the detail as well which is for the default skin for Ceratosaurus which looks pretty nice. I prefer the mustardy skin but which one do you guys prefer? This is nice to note because it means that Ceratosaurus is actually already getting work for the skin system as well which means it's probably a lot closer than we think it is. 
And now let's talk about the skin system. Uh, a nice little transition from the uh, Ceratosaurus talk where we ended that on the skin system, talking about its colorations. But we actually have some stuff because Carnotaurus shown off some new colorations in it. And we also have something regarding Carnotaurus as well, which is a new pattern, new color scheme overall. And I think this is something that I do believe is a completely new pattern. This was actually shown from the QA test and it's a pinky or lilac-y, green and black, or a lavender color, in fact, instead of the pink. But it looks really nice and it does blend with the swamp background very, very well. And I think that's really cool. I like this skin and I feel like people will be rocking this one if it does come to the game. Now, I am confident that this is an actual brand new pattern and it's pretty decked out as well, which shows the potential here with colors. But back to the observation video. This uses the Carnotaurus default skin and you can actually see the first Carnotaurus that charges into the frame has yellow detailing on it, which of course is different to the standard Carno coloration, which is actually orange. And that's the second or third one that comes into the frame. Another Carno that we see is the female skin, the duller, darker skin that doesn't really have the patterns, which comes into frame as well. Ceratosaurus have the same kind of female pattern, which just further emphasizes that perhaps it is a female skin, but we could be lucky and it could be a melanistic skin, but it's more than likely to be a female skin. Now, now that I've said it's a female skin, I bet people will be saying in the comments, oh, it's a melanistic skin, and then we're back to square one, aren't we? But other than that, yeah, that is everything regarding the skin system lately, which is pretty neat to see. We're seeing some more stuff for different dinosaurs and new patterns as well, and it's very nice to see. And of course, my favourite dinosaur ever, Giganotosaurus has finally gotten some additional concept art to go along with it for the Isle of Rima. Now, this showcases probably the default skin for the dinosaur, which if it is, I love it. I love the colours on it, specifically the way the blue blends with everything else, and it just looks so natural and so evil by itself. This to me is a very nice Giga concept and the fact that it isn't straying too far from Legacy's Giga is very very nice overall. Giganotosaurus, which to me was my favourite dinosaur in the aisle overall, which is way better than the Acrocanthosaurus concept art which was just a big fatty. This one actually looks like it's going to be meaning business, it actually looks a bit slimmer, fitting to what Giganotosaurus is actually, and I like it a lot. I also like how the uh, scales on the hide of the dinosaur kind of look a bit thicker, kind of like an armour in a sense, which looks really cool. What do you guys think about the Giganotosaurus concept art? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. And of course, finally, some human structures. We also have three images to showcase for humans and the structures. This is from the hangar, which I believe is going to be in the port for the game. And well, it looks really nice. The first image is a close-up of staircases and isn't too much to showcase. However, I just want to point out the detail here on the flooring and the stairs and the detail with the warning stuff, the black and yellow, looks really nice. And the detail that's been put into it is absolutely insane. We see a wider shot of the hangar as well. You can see quite a lot here with the standard the aisle computer making appearance in the far corner we see some warning lights as well which i do hope do light up in the future whether it's in storms when the gates are opening when a dinosaur breaks in or stuff like that and also we also get to find pablo escobar's cheeky stash of cocaine as you can see in the right of the image it is obviously blocks of cocaine and it, this hangar obviously belongs to big old escobar and uh, I'm not taking any other answers for that. Clearly, that's what it is. Clearly, he was trying to bring dinosaurs back. And that's why he was doing all this cocaine business. But image three is something different. A showcase from the top of the hangar. You can kind of see how it arches with the structure support and the beams as well. Arching as well, which is really nice. Albeit, there are some covered up boxes, which could be hiding the next to the aisle playable. Knowing the developers, it's probably under there and you just have to take it off. But jokes aside, the cover on the crates is really nice. The detail is really nice. You can see the weathering, the tears, the scratches and stretches of the covering. And you can see that they're just detailed as well, which is really cool to see. And whoever's actually put all this work in for this stuff has done a fantastic job. And I really appreciate how good it looks and how much detail has been put into it. It's really nice. But other than that, everybody, that is the Isles latest news roundup. There is a bit more 
to showcase and talk about, which I'll probably be talking about in a future video because there are some comments from developers, but I thought, you know, with Ceratosaurus being released, probably best that we just talk about all of this today and then do another video probably on Monday overviewing everything else. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you, I hope you have a great day. Peace.